Good morning, Zio here, and today we'll be talking about, um, what is it called? A scam? A scam. What I feel like to be a scam, in my humble opinion, was a total scam. Of course, yeah, it's not up now, but <laughs> yeah, seriously, this, this is a thing that happens. So grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax, and uh, let's get into it, shall we? If you notice, the thing in front of me says the eSports Certification Institute is not available, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, apparently you cannot access this without being invited, blah, 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 whatever, because they shut it down. Why did they shut it down? Because of the backlash that followed. It. <laughs> um, yeah, so have you ever wanted to get into eSports? You have? Sweet. Then they have the thing for you for just a small amount of money. Four hundred dollars. They can certify you and uh, fast track you onto the the thing of esports. That is what they were offering. Yeah, and it was so funny and interesting uh, on how they were planning to do all this. But uh, yeah, apparently they are esports CI, and we are excited to announce the launch of Esports Certification Institute, a public benefit corporation created to foster professionalism, promote uh, meritocracy, and increase diversity and inclusion in esports. ECI was created to give another path into the esports uh, or into esports for industry hopefuls. So let's get this straight real quick. They are creating another path. Uh, to foster professionalism, promote meritocracy, and increase a diversity and inclusion in esports. Wow! Excluding anyone who can't make a four hundred dollar donation to this thing, or four hundred dollar purchase of their certification test, or whatever, right? So yeah, you know, that that that's excluding people right there monetarily. But you know, it's going to increase diversity, which I'm not sure exactly how they plan to increase diversity while also promoting meritocracy. Because see, here's the thing. Um, in order for diversity to take place, you've got to kick out meritocracy. And the, well, let me rephrase that. In what they refer to as diversity, you have to kick out meritocracy um, just due to the fact that their version of diversity isn't exactly what you would probably think about diversity. When you, when you think of wanting to have a group of diverse people, you want people of different backgrounds, different thought processes. Um, Things like that, right? You know, you'll want diversity of the mind. However, for them, it's not that. It's got to be one. Everybody it has to agree on, you know, a particular religious. Um, what what what's the word I'm looking for? A religious. Um, political ideology, right? If you don't think that particular thing they don't want you they're not going to help you more than likely they will take your money and run kind of deal i mean chances are they are taking your money and running anyway but uh you know when when things like this want to throw in diversity and stuff that's all they want they want everybody to be thinking the exact same religious zealotish zealotous <laughs> be those those religious zealot of uh of a particular ideology out there and i think we all know what we're talking about at this point right uh, you know, they don't want somebody who's outside the box. The uh, diversity things uh, stands more for skin color, whether or not you're a particular color in the skin department, and that's about it. So meritocracy is technically out the window when it comes to that, because if they want meritocracy, it doesn't really matter about the diversity of the person whatsoever. Uh, you know, if the best person for the thing is a particular this or that, regardless of what their religion is, their skin color, and all this other stuff, doesn't matter they're the best for the thing right you know it doesn't matter about their gender their their looks nothing just that they're the best for the thing that's that's you know uh meritocracy you can't exactly have both you, you can't you know you can't really focus on diversity and meritocracy at the same time because in order by doing that depending on it doesn't matter what your diversity quota kind of is whether it is diversity of the mind or diversity of the skin color or whatever it is you're still going to be passing up somebody based on those metrics so you know that's 
that's sketchy already. But anyway, uh, the foster professionalism. When it comes to esports, esports is quite the wild thing out there. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of unprofessional things out there. There's a lot of professional things that happen and stuff. So, uh, you know, we actually could use some promoting of professionalism when it comes to esports. However, in order to get into esports, it's not barred by a $400 ticket to begin with. <laughs> Right? See, that's where the whole crux of all this really comes into it. It's like, we're going to help people get into esports by putting an artificial barrier in place that didn't exist to begin with. And that's where I, I come in and say it's a, it's a scam, in my opinion. <clears throat> but anyway the esports certification institute um you know is, is pretty much this uh i can't actually go to the site now uh because uh well as we saw it is no longer up they, they took it down but um anyway traditionally getting hired into esports has sometimes been more about who you know than what you know not as a function of corporate um maliciousness hiring managers nepotism but as an unfortunate result of two similar problems colliding with each other which is kind of true i mean <clears throat> depending on what it is you know sometimes it really matters about who you know to get in there by yourself or whatnot um <clears throat> other than that it's a matter of you getting to tournaments to participate in things um you know and registering with whoever right so if you're a part of a, a, a wow arena thing you know you've got to go through the process of getting your team set up register do the you know all the preliminary stuff uh you know do the little tournaments here there and everywhere until you get up into the ranks and then you wind up in the nationals right that really doesn't have anything to do with who you know it's more of actually winning tournaments and there's several things like that however you know, some things there are more of a who you know kind of thing, I guess, when it comes to certain things. But, uh, you know, with Hearthstone, because it's all done digitally for the most part, you, you go to the tournament, you log in, you go through it, you do it all. And then eventually maybe you make your way to the Nationals, you know, the Championships, the, the World's Cup, all that World's Cup, the World stuff, and things like that. With, say, something like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering. On the physical side, you've got to go to the, um, gosh, what are they called? I can't remember, but you, you, you go to the other little events everywhere. You build up points, and then you eventually make it on. You get your invitation to the Nationals, then the Worlds, things like that. Um, which really isn't much of how you know. I'm sure there's a game out there. It's more of who you know to get into the spotlight kind of thing. Um, but yeah. <laughs> anyway. So this is where we're at now with all this, because naturally the internet collectively backlashed on it and going, uh, WTF, what? But um, anyway, we have made the decision to take the exam down because we want to help the industry and achieve our standard mission or our stated mission of fostering professionalism, promoting uh, meritocracy and increasing diversity and inclusion in the spaces. Uh, we grateful to our advisor. Yeah, we're grateful to our advisors for their trust in us, but we missed the mark with this uh, iteration. It's clear to us now that our current product doesn't reflect the values both <laughs> the um, advisory board and ESI, ECI hold. Thank you again for uh, again to our advisors and to the community for the insights. But uh, yeah, and then of course, you know, they've got this up here where they they're humbled. And first of all, thanks for the entire esports community feedback, uh, blah, blah, this, that and the other. Anyway, so they got reamed on the interwebs uh, for all this. And it's like you're putting a four hundred dollar price tag in something that anybody can really get onto and get into, um, you know, maybe getting a space in a tournament requires you to know somebody somewhere, that sort of thing. But, you know. Once you get get your foot into the door and start establishing yourself as a player, as an actual competitor and stuff, you know, things take off from there. But uh, yeah, so this is the thing that happened. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and uh, I'll talk to you later. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen. So click one of those and see if you can find something that. Uh, suits your fancy. Till then.
I'll see you later. Bye.